Hi everybody, it's Dara. And oh my goodness, do we have a lot to talk about. I've been getting messages, um, I miss you messages, and I so miss you guys too. I've been really doing something so exciting, which I'm gonna share with you. But first, I'm gonna tell you that what has inspired this video is A, that I miss you, and B, that um, I have gorgeous produce. And I'm in the mood to share because sharing is caring. And I don't exactly know what I'm doing, although I have some idea. And I'm going to tell you the ingredients. And all of these could be chopped up. They could be processed. Some of them could be julienned. And we're going to decide as we go because I just pulled things out of the refrigerator. I actually have parsley. I'm in the mood for parsley. It's really good for digestion. It's good for the breath. And we have cauliflower. I have been turning this into rice and it's divine. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We have turmeric. And turmeric root, you know the turmeric powder, this is the root, it's much like ginger, and it is going to help us reduce inflammation. If anybody you know has arthritis, this is the thing. Fresh turmeric juice, um, you can grate it and press it through a, si a sieve and squeeze out the juice by hand and then add that to tea um, or water or a smoothie and it's amazing. You can blend this in a smoothie. You can um, chop this in a salad. We have fresh, organic, non-GMO corn, which when that happens, we gotta buy it because raw corn is amazing. We just slice it off and put it in salads or mix it in what I'm thinking, some kind of raw stir-fried rice. So we'll have the cauliflower, bits of red pepper, teeny little pieces, teeny little pieces of purple cabbage, teeny little pieces of purple carrots, and corn, and maybe a little lime, a little parsley, and um, maybe a little nama shoyu, which is unpasteurized soy sauce. And I have some mint from my garden, some chocolate mint. It actually smells like chocolate. I have a little red pepper because you know I like heat because the capsaicin in the peppers boost our metabolism and bust out germs. Um, I have these little borage flowers. They're purple and so pretty and so delicate. So these things over here, the pepper, the, these kefir limes were on a tree outside of my next door neighbor's house just by the street. And the zest of them is really good to use for brightness. We have Himalayan salt and purple onion. So that's what I have so far. Things have been rinsed. I have zucchini in the refrigerator I could get, but I think this is a really good start. I put out some bowls for when I chop, so I have places to put things. And there's a couple ways to handle these two things. These two things are really great if you're on a budget. These things are really great if you need to feed a lot of people. These things are really great if you don't want your produce to, if you want produce to last longer, if you need to make sure you have something in the house to eat. Cabbage is amazing. A cabbage boat to hold a pate or avocado. Um, cauliflower to just break pieces off and eat them as a snack or dip them in a dip or to turn them into rice. And those things are really good along with celery and apples and lemons. Hold on, I wanna shut the door. If I want to make this into rice, there's two ways to do this. You can chop it by hand, which is totally acceptable and takes a little longer than the food processor. But if you don't have a food processor or you don't want to get yours out, if it's not out, then you will just chop this by hand, chop, 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 really fine until it looks like rice, until it resembles rice. The same thing goes with this. However, since I do have a food processor, and since I do want to do that, I am going to put my little beautiful things aside and pull out the food processor and show you. In the meantime, while I'm doing this, I want to tell you where I've been. Some of you may know about More With Dara. More With Dara is a website uh, created three or four years ago that if you wanted more with me, you would have more videos, more personal videos, more behind the scenes, uh, more community. And recently, we have switched it over to a secret Facebook Live page. So secret that you can't even find the page unless you are a More With Dara member. 
it's so secret and so safe. That's the really cool thing about it is that you can post things, your own live videos, and you can share with me. People are fleshing themselves out. I get to see who's who and what their eyes look like and what they sound like, and it's really personal. So that is what I've been doing, and the amazing part about it is that I'm live. So I wake up in the morning and I have a thought, I can share it, I can walk the dog and share, I could take a bath and share, I could be out in the sunshine on the balcony and share, um, I can share in the kitchen live. I've been live, I can't even say how many times, like 50 times in two weeks, like 25 videos a week for sure. And it's so easy and there's no editing involved for me. So, and you know I love to just be present. It's not planned, usually it's never planned my videos, they're never highly edited. Um, and so this eliminates a lot. It eliminates the editing time, the uploading to the computer, the uploading to YouTube. The, the, it just has lifted my spirit so much. So if you want to know where I've been living, I have been living on Facebook. And it's amazing. And I love it. And I'm inspired. So that's where I am. If you need me, you can ask me questions over there. So if you want to join it, you just go to daradubinay.com and there's a join more with Dara drop down. So I'm going to get out the food processor and I'm going to come back with you when I have it all set up so you don't have to wait and watch me set it up. Okay. So we're just going to cut up the cauliflower into little pieces. Not too little, but little enough. Certainly use white cauliflower or purple cauliflower as long as it's organic. Yes? Yes. We're going for the organic. Whoop. Let's see how it is. Perfect. If you want, some people don't want to eat cruciferous veggies um, raw because they're concerned about the iodine uptake for the thyroid. Everybody's thyroid is different. A naturopath like Dr. Sadegi at the Beehive of Healing or Dr. Bob at the same healing center, they can help you if it matters or not, if your veggies are raw or not. My take on is, is that the raw veggies outweigh anything for me. So I will eat cauliflower raw and I will eat kale raw, but I see nothing wrong with steaming the kale or steaming the cauliflower, which brings me to what happens after I pulse this and make it look like rice. After that happens, I can do a couple of things. One, I can put it on a pan, in a pan, with a couple drops of water, and quickly, like for one minute on a medium to low heat, just kind of let the water go into the cauliflower. It takes out a little bit of the crunch, and it takes out a little bit of the bitterness, and no oil, oil, ne no oil needed. Or, you can keep it raw, and you can put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, um, and do any number of things that you would do to rice. Parsley and lime, um, as my friend Vicky does. Uh, you can make it taste a little garlicky, a little pepper. You can make it, you know, do some kind of curry thing. So that's two ways of handling the cauliflower. Um, I was making dinner for friends, so I left the cauliflower. I, I cooked some wild rice, and I left the cauliflower pulsed like rice raw. And I mixed that up so it was less of the rice and a lot of the cauliflower, but it gave that chewy kind of feeling that a lot of people like with ratatouille. So here we have that. And we're just going to pulse. You just want to make sure that there's no big chunks and you don't process it too fine. It'll get too watery. This looks perfect and it looks like cheddar cheese. You can make a cheesy rice with nutrition yeast and salt and olive oil. That would be amazing. So here's our rice. I'm going to do the cauliflower next. Okay, so usually I will get my nose is itchy. Usually I will get one little chunk 
that doesn't go all the way, but I'd rather take out the chunk of cauliflower than to process this cauliflower rice too much. So here's our token chunk of cauliflower, and we can certainly eat that. There we go, our little token. So now we have our beautiful rice, okay? I'm gonna put that aside, and next we're going to have our beautiful, oh my God, my nose is itchy, it's so funny. It's like a little witchy itchy. So usually what I do when I wash veggies is I set them on a towel just to absorb the moisture. I'll tell you what, pine nuts will be mixed in, that will be nice to mix in. We also can put in uh, crumbled pistachios would be lovely or pumpkin seeds. So now we have, okay, so now I have cut the cauliflower in half and we're gonna process it. So we just cut out the core by cutting triangle out and we're left with this and I'll just take out the outside piece and I'm going to cut it into small enough pieces to make it manageable for the processor, okay? Oops, flying produce. It's always a good sign when your kitchen is messy. It means you're being creative and having fun. And that's the key thing because since we're making raw food, it has a lot of water in it. We're not cooking the water out. So, all of our energy goes into the food. So if you're in any kind of bad mood or irritated or agitated or sad, it's best to walk away from the produce, eat an apple, take your time and come back to it when you're feeling fantastic or at least good. Usually though, it's funny, I say that and I'm thinking, well, as soon as I, if I'm not in the best mood and as soon as I start Thinking about the produce, it cheers me up. And then once I'm cheered up, I'm having fun with the food. So I can't say don't come near the food. Maybe it will cheer you up. Okay, we're going to pulse. How much fun is that? How colorful, how beautiful. I do a little more. I see some. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. And then you're just gonna mix, you chop everything really fine and mix it all together and season it how you like. And it will last in the refrigerator for two to three days easy. No dressing, it will last three to five. When you dress things, it tends to go faster. Oh, I can't even tell you how exciting this is. So you see these two things? Beautiful. Imagine the green and the yellow with them. <laughs> so I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to get the corn ready, the parsley ready, the red pepper ready. It's just a matter of enjoying chopping um, and then putting dressing. I'm thinking that you could definitely do this Mexican with Mexican spices and cayenne and some cumin and cilantro and you can um, use red pepper and make it Mexican and then serve it you know make it really spicy and serve the rice with a dollop or two of some coconut yogurt or some almond yogurt plain almond yogurt from Kite Hill and that way you have something to cool the heat you could go to the stove and take a saucepan and put in um, mustard seeds, garlic, onions, cumin, um, some hing. It's called otherwise called aso fatita, and do an Indian style dish with some curry, and then mix that. You know, you saute those things in coconut oil, and you have your sauce, and then you mix it with this, so you would get the cooked flavor of the onions and the garlic and the spices with this. So I'm gonna see what kind of mood I'm in. I really don't know at the moment. But the more, more you let the vegetables talk to you, the more you can have an idea of what you're supposed to do. So you don't really have to be decided until you're all ready and your vegetables are all chopped. And 
you can see what mood you're in. Oh, the parsley is just heavenly. And since we have turmeric, we can lean turmeric, as they say, you can lean towards Indian. In which case, I would leave all of these chopped veggies in the refrigerator, and then when it's time to prepare dinner later, that's when I get the coconut oil into the saucepan, crush garlic and onions, I add mustard seeds and cumin if I want, but mustard seeds and um, different Indian spices, you know, the curries and the red pepper, and then you can, when you're ready, you mix it all together and then serve. If you're sauteing, you wanna do that right before you eat. So this is the prep work that I'm doing before dinner. It's not dinner time, but I wanted to make a video for you. So perhaps I will chop all these veggies and when it's ready to be dinner time, I'll do the saute thing. If, if I want everything all done, let's say I'm going to a picnic or I'm going to someone's house and I just want the dish done, forget about sauteing and just mix the dish and have it ready to go in the refrigerator. So that's really up to you. Sometimes when I'm serving people, when they're coming to my home and they walk in and there's the smell of garlic and onions and just it, it just, it feels like home and it's such a nice thing to do. And that means that everything else is raw except the seasonings and um, it would be what I call raw fusion. Um, pepper time. Okay, so I chopped the pepper, and if you noticed or didn't notice, I did not seed it. I did not scoop out the seeds. I think seeds are important for us to eat. Um, when we eat seeded fruit and any produce, we are able to seed. So get it. It's like a fertility thing. You want fruit and vegetables with the seeds. You don't have to eat them, but um, I see no point. And there was a little pepper growing inside, so I see nothing wrong with using all of it and it reminds me of my mom when she wasn't feeling well when she was at the end of her journey I made red pepper and she said please cook it doesn't digest well it doesn't digest well when it's not cooked so if any of you have that then just slightly saute them I just, oh Roxy I miss my mom so much but I really Rox come here I really feel her so much, like I get messages, like my friends will say something that she would have said, and then they'll, I'll say, that sounds like my mom, and they say, well, I've never said that before. So she's love from above, right around. And as I make this, I'm kind of thinking that it will be nice for me to be all done with dinner, so I might just mix it all up and put it in a bowl and put it in the fridge. That way I can clean the kitchen, go edit the video, and just serve it later with great pleasure and no more cooking or being in the kitchen. That sounds really nice to me. I want to tell you about this bread. I, um, I found this bread, Mario's, vegan, gluten-free, organic bread at Air One when I was in Calabasas yesterday. And oh my goodness, sourdough and their rye rye bread, it's out of this world. So while it's not raw, it's gluten-free, it's organic and it's vegan, and he cracked the code. Air One has their own brand as well, which is divine. So every day there's something new and exciting in this Whole Foods arena, in the healthy, vegan, and organic arena, and gluten-free especially, that it's very exciting. And I did not wash these carrots, so I will peel them. Not a problem. And they're purple. And I'm guessing they're purple and with orange on the inside. We'll see. Now, we can julienne these for speed. We can julienne the carrots. Be nice to serve this with some raw sauerkraut. But I'm going to cut it because I don't feel like, yep. Pretty. Oh, wow. Delicious. When I do live on More With Dara, I'm able to show close-ups. It's amazing. So if anybody wants to try it, let me know. Dara at daradubinet.com. 
It seriously is a party. Like it's one of the best things since sliced vegan organic bread, somebody said, me going live. It's of the moment. And I like that. I mean, this is almost like live because fairly unedited and it is what it is. Certainly not flashy and edited. Oh, this is just magnificent. Look at that. Oh, I love it. If you're doing a lot of carrots and a lot of food, definitely a food processor and definitely a Borner V slicer. And the V slicer will just julienne everything so quickly and so you don't have to stand her all day. But this is so pleasurable for me. Really all I do is I look at the produce and I get inspired. And we'll have some, definitely some red pepper, some, maybe some mint I think will be nice, some turmeric. The pepper is hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Exciting hot. You want to boost your love life? You want to have more energy? You want to not get sick? Stay away from pharmaceuticals and have some spicy pepper. <laughs> have some turmeric. And if for some reason you do feel like you're getting sick, please, please, please do not take the Tylenol or the Dayquil or the NyQuil because all they're doing is suppressing symptoms and all your body wants to do is let the germ out. It wants to let the virus or the germ out. So it's asking to be sick. It's asking for mucus to form and leave your body. It's asking for your body to break out in a fever so that you can sweat it out. So what I do is I have turmeric and pepper tea and I take hot baths with salts. Then I get under like 10 covers and I get hot, hot, hot. And within 24 hours, I never get sick because I just catch it in time. And a lot of people just want to run around and they have, they have to do this and that and they want to suppress the symptoms, but guess what? Then it just makes it go longer and longer and then you have the toxins in your liver and it's just a no-win situation that way. So I'm gonna grate this um, lime. So now we're getting into the flavoring of the situation. Now we're getting into a little purple onion, a little red pepper, a little kefir lime. Either use the juice or use the um, grate of the outside. Some, some mint, some, it's gonna be delicious. And then, definitely my favorite Nubo olive oil, Nubo, and you can use any brightness you want. You can use apple cider vinegar and stay traditionally raw because apple cider vinegar does not cause acid in the body. If you want to alkalize your body, we don't use balsamic vinegar. However, if you're fully alkalized, like I believe I am, a little splash of this balsamic vinegar will be absolutely gorgeous. A little teeny titch of maple syrup or agave, if you choose, and some salt and I think garlic, and this is gonna be a winner. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to be back with you guys. It was like, just, I went through a period, a period and a half, <laughs> um, and I shared it all on more with Dara. It was a really tricky time. And then when I came out of it, we started the live Facebook book group, and it's been really inspiring for me over there. So um, that's where I've been, and I'm inviting you to come and join me us because it's really sweet okay so we're in a teeny little when you're not cooking your onions you want to make them pretty small hot 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 wash your hands after you touch the pepper because how many of us have then gone on to touch somewhere on our body eyes wherever and it hurts i already feel the heat from just going like this okay loves this is great we've got everything chopped now i'm dealing with the flavors and I'm going to recommend that you just dress it after you put the veggies all in the bowl, right? So you will be able to know because I could give you measurements, but maybe your cabbage was bigger or smaller. Maybe you use more carrots. Maybe you have more veggies and you have to add different, different amounts of these things. So I'm going to put everything. I wonder if this is big enough. If it's not, I'll switch. This is my Paris bowl, remember? Um, I love it so much. For those of you who want to know, I put in the rice, uh, the cauliflower, I'm putting in the parsley and the red pepper. Um, for those of you who want to know where to get the bowl, because I always get that question, the store Merci. 
I'm putting in the carrots, red pepper, corn, and the cabbage. So exciting. And the purple cabbage. So basically, this is a little bit small, but I think I can manage. Now I can dress accordingly. And I have, um, with the back of a spoon, I peeled the turmeric. So we can just grate it in. And I have, um, I'm gonna use my good knife. My uh, chocolate mint. I think that's going to be loud because the mic is on the... I'm going to rinse that. I'm going to rinse it. I forgot to rinse this. That happens, you know, you forget and you don't want any little buggies. Buggies are good. It means it's organic. It's easier, easier to rinse while it's still whole, but I just put it to a strainer. So that's the mint. And I'm going to grate some kefir lime used in Indian cooking a lot. What a great zest. Amazing. Careful of your fingers on the grater. What a great tool to have in the kitchen. Um, and then um, I have some salt, some Himalayan salt. Never use iodized salt. I think you know that by now here hanging around with me. I have a couple drops. I don't have fresh ginger, but I have the doTERRA ginger. So I'm going to put a couple drops of that in. And I'm going to use my Nuvo olive oil. Do you need me to measure? I don't see why, but you saw how many veggies I put in. So perhaps it will help you to get an idea. So I'm happy to measure. That's an eighth of a cup, a couple tablespoons something like that. A titch of maple syrup for flavor balancing. I will give you measurements. And I can always add more. So I, I end up um, putting in less because it's easy to add, hard to detract. Okay, that's one teaspoon. And uh, we have the balsamic vinegar, I'm guessing a tablespoon or two, and we can always add, okay? Two. Use apple cider vinegar if you prefer. And then all we need to do oh, is mix. I did not add garlic. Fresh garlic will be amazing in here too. Or powdered garlic because it will give you a cooked flavor of the garlic. We have a gorgeous medley. I'm just going to call it a cauliflower, a spicy cauliflower medley. We don't have to label it any <laughs> origin. And I will taste it for us. I'm guessing more salt. The amount of salt was about a half a teaspoon. Got to mix it fully. One of the benefits of mixing it at the bottom of the bowl, the dressing, you can ensure complete um, dis dispersion of, this, of the flavors. But I'm just going to keep mixing it. And this is nice to serve with a piece of that toasted bread I was referring to. And the Kite Hill almond cream cheese is amazing. Okay, this is a wonderful party dish. I was right, it needs more salt. Salt to taste, everybody. And a little more of the balsamic vinegar. So we have three tablespoons of that. And I didn't use all the olive oil, put it in. So I'm gonna put another little bit. That's about a half a tablespoon. And there we have it. There's our beautiful meal. I've missed you guys. And don't worry, if you don't feel like spending the $19.95 for more with Dara, we are going to do a closed but free live Facebook group so we can do live together. And the beauty of that is that you can comment, 
You can invite friends to it. It will be free. I really, this is, this is so much more work than doing live. I love the live. The live is so fresh. Uh -huh. Perfect. Mm. A little bit more of the maple syrup. Quarter teaspoon, teaspoon. You have to do it to taste. If you use agave, a little bit of agave is so much sweeter than maple syrup. So a titch of agave, my friend Jenna likes when I say that, a titch of agave goes such a long way. Mmm. It's delicious. So, all raw, delightful, easy to eat, easy to chew, easy to digest, filled with so many nutrients that we need. Serve this as a side or serve it as a main dish. I will see you guys really soon. I've missed you. Um, follow me on Facebook to see what I'm up to. I do go live on my personal page. So if you follow, I have 5,000 friends, I'm sure. So you can follow it and get notified of the live posts there. Yay. Whew, that was so good. I'm so excited to, ha to be back. I've missed you guys and I will see you really soon. And remember to get your greens on. Okay, everybody, I just want to show you up close and personal what this looks like. It looks like a party. This is amazing party food. So if you need to bring a dish, this will do really well. If you want to really please vegan but not raw people, add some wild rice to it. Um, yeah, I will see you soon. And once again, get your greens on.